I'm going to model for you today the one take classroom video strategy known as paper slide. It was popularized by Dr. Lodge McKinnon at the North Carolina State University. I want you guys to think back to all the times in high school when you were assigned a class video project. Your teacher's idea was for you to demonstrate your in-depth knowledge of the subject in a creative way and then share it back with the rest of the class. Now the problem with this model is that typically you would spend the vast majority of your time fumbling with technology or fooling around with your friends instead of working together to understand class concepts or create something new. Video projects have also really fallen by the wayside as we are unable to assign group marks to sets of students and we now know that rich assessments where students have to organize information and work collaboratively are more effective evaluation tools. If the teacher had instead made time in class for students to work on creating something like a paper slide video, he or she could have assigned a different class concept to each different group of students, differentiating either based on student ability or on student interest. These groups would spend their time either creating or finding unique images to explain their concepts. They would also be responsible for creating a script in which one group member will read from. This script can later be handed in and assessed via an assessment chart based rubric. The presentation ultimately will be filmed on something like a flip video camera, a document camera already in the classroom, or you perhaps leverage technology students may be bringing into class already. This way, students can easily compare one set of ideas to another. They can show off extremely unique pieces of student work and describe the processes or unique techniques for creating something new. Or they can even model a complex system using student-made manipulatives. By requiring all the students to do this in only one take in the final days of the video project, the focus of the project is on enhancing student understanding through collaborative work in a safe classroom environment instead of filming if a wrong slide is accidentally put up or if a student fumbles. The entire video does not have to be reshot. Once your video is complete, it does not even have to be shown in class taking up class time but it can instead be published privately to the internet or publicly, both requiring informed parent consent. Once there, it can easily be imported into our learning management system where students can both peer and self-assess in a safe environment. If you have any questions about these or any other piece of instructional technology, please contact your ITRT.